In the shadows of history, there lies a book, a classified manuscript that was hidden from the public eye for decades. This book, birthed in the tumultuous year of 1966, carries a tale as peculiar as its contents. Penned by an acclaimed engineer, its pages were immediately cloaked in the heavy drapes of classification by none other than the Central Intelligence Agency. The question begs, why? Why did the guardians of national security see fit to squirrel away this literary work? What secrets did it hold that were deemed too potent, too perilous for the public to bear? The answer, my friends, lies shrouded in a cloud of intrigue and speculation. This book was no ordinary tome. It was not a collection of rambling theories or wild conjectures. It was in fact a detailed account of information that could send ripples through our understanding of our world. The kind of information that could potentially cause widespread panic and unrest. For years, the existence of this book was but a whisper in the corridors of power. It was a phantom manuscript, a specter that hung over the heads of those who knew of its existence. Its presence was a closely guarded secret, its contents a mystery that few dared to unravel. But then, the winds of change began to stir. A crack appeared in the fortress of silence surrounding this elusive book. A freedom of information request, like a beacon in the night, shone a light on the existence of this hidden manuscript. And thus, the world came to know of the book that had been kept under lock and key for so long. Yet, in a twist that only deepens the intrigue, the CIA released a mere 57 pages of the original 284-page manuscript. And even these, they admitted, had been sanitized, stripped of whatever it was that made them so dangerous. The veil of secrecy that surrounds this book only thickens the plot. What could be so perilous in these pages that they had to be sanitized? The man behind the words was no ordinary scribe. He was an engineer, a man of science and reason. His name was Thomas E. Clark, a well-respected figure in the world of engineering. For years he had been known for his groundbreaking work, innovations that pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible. He was a man of logic, a man who believed in facts and figures, not myths and legends. Yet there was an unusual shift in his work, a deviation from the familiar path of engineering and into the realms of the unknown. The book that was classified by the CIA was not about engineering or science, but about a topic far removed from his usual field of expertise. It was about the end of the world, about pole shifts and mass extinctions, and about the true story of Adam and Eve. Why would a man of such scientific prowess delve into such topics? Perhaps the answer lies not in the why, but in the how. How did he come across such information? How did he stumble upon knowledge that was deemed too dangerous for the public eye? There are whispers, hints of hidden knowledge that Clark might have stumbled upon during his work. Perhaps it was an accidental discovery, a byproduct of his scientific research. Or perhaps it was a deliberate pursuit, a search for answers to questions that have plagued humanity for centuries. Regardless of how he came across this knowledge, one thing is certain, it was a secret so big, so potentially catastrophic, that it had to be hidden away, classified by the CIA and kept from the public for over 60 years. In his pursuit of knowledge, our author stumbled upon secrets that were deemed too dangerous for the public eye. And it is these secrets that we will attempt to unravel, to uncover the truth hidden within the classified pages of his book. Oh, only 57 pages out of the original 284-page manuscript were released but these pages were not untouched. These documents, once pristine with the author's original thoughts, were subjected to a process that the CIA themselves termed as sanitizing. The released pages have been carefully edited, redacted, and in some cases completely rewritten. It's as if the CIA had a mighty broom and they swept away the bits they didn't want us to see. Among these sanitized pages, there are numerous references to cataclysmic events, pole shifts, mass extinctions, and even to Adam and Eve. There are tantalizing hints of a grand narrative, a story that could potentially turn our understanding of history upside down. But alas, with only fragments of the original text, we are left with more questions than answers. One intriguing tidbit is the recurring mention of pole shifts. The author suggests a cyclical pattern of catastrophic pole shifts that have resulted in mass extinctions. It's a chilling thought to imagine our world turned on its head literally and metaphorically. Another fascinating element is the reference to the true Adam and Amp Eve story. The author hints at an alternative version of this biblical tale, one that might not align with traditional interpretations. Could this be a metaphorical representation of human evolution or perhaps a coded message about our origins? 
We also find references to advanced ancient civilizations that predate known history. These civilizations, the author suggests, possessed knowledge and technology far beyond what we can fathom. What happened to these civilizations and could their fate be a warning for us? Despite the sanitized state of the release pages, they offer a tantalizing glimpse into the author's mind and his controversial theories. However, with over two-thirds of the original manuscript still classified, we can only speculate about the full extent of the author's revelations. What we know is merely the tip of the iceberg. The main body of this knowledge remains hidden in the classified pages. The fear that permeates from the sanitized pages speaks of an imminent catastrophe, a potential end of the world. This is no ordinary doomsday prediction. The author speaks of a pole shift, a phenomenon that could turn our world upside down, quite literally. Imagine if you woke up one day to find that north was now south and east was now west. It's a shift that could cause tectonic upheaval, triggering earthquakes, tsunamis, and possibly leading to mass extinctions. This is not a wild guess or a science fiction scenario. The author, using detailed geological and historical analysis, suggests that pole shifts have happened before. They could be a natural and recurring event in the Earth's long history. And, according to the author, we might be overdue for the next one. But the author doesn't stop there. He delves into the story of human origin, the true Adam and Eve story, as he calls it. He suggests that our ancestors may have survived a previous pole shift and that this shared traumatic event is embedded in our collective memory, passed down through generations in the form of myths and religious stories. Now, imagine the impact of such revelations on society. It could change the way we understand our history, our world, and our place in it. It could cause panic, or it could inspire a renewed focus on understanding and preparing for natural disasters. So, why would the CIA classify this book? Perhaps they feared the social and political implications of such a revelation, or maybe they wanted to avoid creating panic, or perhaps they simply didn't want us to know. Again, we can only speculate, because despite the freedom of information request, the majority of the book remains classified. We don't know the full extent of the author's research, his evidence, or his predictions. The world as we know it could be on the brink of a massive shift, but unfortunately, the full extent of this shift remains a classified secret. With every unveiled secret, there seem to be two more that remain hidden. As we delve deeper into the mystery surrounding this classified book, it's clear that we are only scratching the surface of a much larger, more complex story. Let's recap what we've uncovered so far. Back in 1966, a respected engineer authored a book so controversial, it was immediately classified by the CIA. A book that, according to the author, describes the end of the world. It's only recently, following a Freedom of Information request, that we've even become aware of its existence. But here's the kicker. Of the original 284 pages, the CIA has only released 57, and even those, they admit, have been sanitized. So, what secrets are held in the 227 pages that remain classified? Why has most of the book been kept under wraps for over 60 years? And why did the author believe the end of the world was imminent all those years ago? These are the unanswered questions that continue to haunt us. And while we can speculate on the answers, the truth remains elusive. The CIA's decision to classify the book suggests that the content is of significant importance. But what could be so threatening about a book written over half a century ago? As we grapple with these questions, it's important to remember that knowledge is a powerful tool. It can enlighten, but it can also create fear and confusion. Perhaps the information contained in the book is too unsettling for the general public. Or perhaps it's simply been misunderstood. The remaining pages of the book could hold the answers to these questions. But until they are declassified, we can only guess at the secrets they contain. In the meantime, we encourage you to form your own conclusions based on the information at hand. The truth isn't always easy to find, but it's out there. The truth is out there, waiting to be discovered. It's up to us to unearth it. 